welcome to Chichi Talks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Indigo Traveler. So Indigo Traveler, if you don't know him, he's a YouTuber that actually travels around the world. He travels to big cities, um, slums, just different places around the world. So he's actually... Um, currently in Nigeria and he's been doing this documentary about Nigeria, you know, debunking the myth and the myths um, that people believe um, in regards to Nigeria not being safe, you know, like, um, you know, with receipts because he's actually in Nigeria, but he's make, he interviewed a few people, you know, brought, he's bringing more, um, He's bringing more light to the fact that it's not all places in Nigeria that is unsafe. And just like every other part of the world, every country has its problems, you know. So he, I, I actually picked interest in this particular video about Makoko slum. So this slump is a very huge slump. Like people live there and it has over 250,000 residents. So this slump is located in Lagos and Lagos is the biggest city in Nigeria, in Africa actually, with over two, two, 23 to 25 million um, residents. It's a crazy city. Like he kept saying Nigeria is crazy and he said that, you know, Nigeria is, is crazy fun and fun crazy. Like he he was just mind blown and even here like sitting down watching this video i'm mind blown about the entire video like in, in regards to makoko and seeing the way people actually live there so um he reached out to the chief of the community like makoko has a community chief <laughs> oh my god what even like what even blew my mind the most is the dialect they actually have a very different dialect from the um, language spoken, like from the Lagos language spoken, like which is like Yoruba, right? I know there are different dialects, you know, in Nigeria, but like I haven't actually heard this specific dialect that the chief was speaking. So the prince of the land was taking him round, you know, on a tour, telling him things, and he identified one specific problem that they have in Makoko is that they have a lot of orphans so they, they're looking to build an orphanage for those kids and they were talking about how uh, their, sea, their seaweed like when they go use the bathroom it goes straight into the water and that's the same water that these kids are swimming in like it's a whole level of community like you won't even believe that this community is in Lagos. Lagos has like different aspect of it it has the creme de la creme aspect it has the middle class aspect and then it has the slums like this um travel in the indigo traveler really captured every aspect of the slum he really did a great job when it when it comes to the capturing you know the storytelling i really enjoyed watching this video and i'm glad that he's bringing awareness you know internationally to this particular spot in nigeria so um this place has their own like bar entertainment and everything but they don't have health care like before they have to go to the land you know they need to use like the cano to cano themselves out of the slum um you know to the land and they don't really they don't really have easy access to the land because there is a Todd Mellon bridge that goes right over them and it takes time i don't even know how they even live i really don't know how they survive in this place but human beings we can adapt to anything oh my god like this is really mind-blowing you guys can click the link in my bio i'll put the link to his channel or to this specific video if you want to watch it i'll put the link to this video in my bio so you can go ahead and click that link it's gonna take you straight to indigo travelers um video of this specific um makoko um, vlog and then he has other vlogs about lagos also like he, he vlogged about the market he vlogged about you know different aspects of this video and this is really incredible i really enjoyed watching this video and he's actually doing a fundraiser also but um I'm glad that every aspect and okay also he was also like talking about the aspect where, when he was traveling he said somebody um 
one of the uh, flight attendants asked him why he was going to Nigeria, that Nigeria is a very dangerous place. And then he told the person that he was going to visit Nigeria on a business, like for business. And then he said, oh, it's not safe. Well, I'm glad that Indigo Traveler emphasized a lot of times in his video that Nigeria is actually really safe. It's safe and it's just the northern part of Nigeria and not even every state in the northern part, just a few states that has the problem of Boko Haram and insurgency, you know, like um, terrorism, uh, kidnapping and, you know, the whole world or like, let me say specifically, Al Jazeera, CNN and all those news people, the media um, try to make it look like the entire country is unsafe and you shouldn't travel there and blah, 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 blah. But people go there every single day. That's like the biggest hub when it comes to business, entertainment, lifestyle in Africa. Okay, I'm glad that, you know, this video, I really, I'm really excited about this video. And I just want to say thank you to Indigo Traveler for making this video to clear out, you know, to clear, not that everybody's going to, um, like, believe, but at the end of the day, who cares? Like, at least there's one video. <laughs> there is one video on the internet saying something good about Nigeria. This is huge. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad he showed all these places. I'm glad he's making, creating awareness. Like, the Lagos government has to do something about the slums. Like, to clean it out. I don't even know. Find another location for them to move to. I don't even know what something has to be done. Like, I don't know how these things work, but like seeing these kids in this water, and you know, they actually look very happy. They're happy, they like swimming, they enjoyed, you know, swimming. But man, um, I, I don't know. Hopefully, things change though. Uh, I'm glad that Indigo Traveler is doing this, and I'm really glad about this video. If there is any other thing you want to know about this video, just go ahead and click the link in my bio. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.